What's going on, everybody? Cody from Motorcycle MD, and this video is gonna be very straightforward. I have a Magna. Okay, I did a full carb job on this bike about a year ago. Full carb. Everything got replaced, and even a brand new gas tank. But the customer let it sit for almost 10 months. Okay, I'm surprised it's running the way that it is, but it's not healthy. Let's listen to it here. I'm gonna show you guys how I diagnose which carbs are having the trouble, what possible circuits are clogged, all from the outside of the carbs. Let's listen in. Did you catch that? Very ugly, kind of hesitant, right off of throttle hesitation. Okay, has some spits and sputters. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to each carburetor's mixture screw. Okay, I'm going to turn it all the way in. Starting on the left bank, it's just, I don't know why, but that's when I started on. And it does not really matter. I have a carb tool. It's kind of a pain to get to, but I'm just going to turn it all the way in. We're going to listen for a difference. If I turn that mixture screw in and nothing happens, that carburetor's auto circuit is clogged. The mixture screw is not making any change to the auto jet itself. That tunnel that feeds it, that helps feed it, that helps trim it, has something going on wrong with it. So let's listen in, and go to each one, and you can kind of hear the difference. That one, zero change. Turn it all the way up in there, nothing happened. It sounds identical to the way that it has been sounding this whole time it's been idling. Watch when I go over to the other side. so we're clear there are four carbs total so I have to make this check on each individual carb I don't show that here in this video but one mixture screw on one carb does not affect the one right in front of it on the left bank if that makes sense so let's listen in boom auto drop that cylinder pretty much goes dead. I do that for both of the right side bank carbs. That tells me that both of the left side bank carbs, because there's four total, have an issue. The right side is being affected by that mixture screw being turned in. That means the port is doing well enough to respond to any adjustment. So, idle circuits on the left hand side are clogged. And that's it guys. No need for some stupid long monologue on what to do next. These carbs need to be ripped out. They need to be cleaned. It's a super helpful, quick way to diagnose a idle circuit issue without even having to open the bike up. Well, now I have to, but I thought it was helpful for you guys. Let me know. Comment below. If, in fact, you do have this bike, guess what? I have a full tear down, rip in, rip out carb product in the description below. Hope you found it helpful, guys. I'll see you next time. Later.